All right, so this is figure this is page one twenty two, figure five 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 pin holder. We're gonna do a top view, a front view, and a right side view. On the front view, we know the width or the W, meaning the length of this is four and three quarters. We got our depth is one and three quarters, talking about the depth over here. Your height is two and three quarters, talking about this distance here. Your center hole is one inch diameter. Your A is one inch radius. Your B to C is one and a quarter inch. B to D is B to C is one and one quarter. B to C is one and one quarter. B to D is one and three quarters. All right, so that means this right here is a half inch. We know E to F is a half inch. It tells us right there. We know our our depth is one and three quarters. All right, so let's go to the drawing. All right, let's zoom in. Now, what I did is I went ahead and set up my, my property layers just like normal. Object layer, hidden line, dimensions, construction, and center lines. So all of that's basically the same. You see how that works. Be pretty used to doing that. I set up my construction lines. All right. I know from the drawing example, under this bottom line, I'm just going to draw a line. I'm going to go up from this to the center center of that circle, D to B. And that's one and three quarters. So all I basically did. Is I offset this line right here with the offset like in 1.75 and jumped it up here to the right there. That gives us our center line of this circle here. All right. I know this line over here. Is going to be B to D on this side. So I know that side on, on that left side is going to be 1.75. I can draw that on both sides. 1.75 going up here. One point seven five there. And basically all I gotta do now is just offset that. 1.3 the distance here which is going to be four and three quarters i'm just going to offset that that's basically what i did offset it now once i get my center line turned in here i can go ahead and set my circle because i know my circle is We don't know the total distance of this. Yes, we do because we know A. We know A is one inch radius, so we know this is one inch coming in here. We know there's a one inch diameter hole right here. So by basically what you have to do to figure out the center of that, get your line tool, come over here, come into one inch, set your center, and then we draw your circle. If you're one inch radius or one inch diameter, one for the inside circle, and then one inch radius for the outside circle. And then your line here basically is just a short line. It goes from right here, right there on your tangent, all the way to the bottom here. They don't give you the measurement for that, but you know it's going to come down because it shows you two in the picture. It comes down to right to the edge. And then this basically is a half inch offset off this bottom line here. 
So basically, we have that part done. We then can start working over here. You take and draw a line between here, two inches. And you really don't even have to do that. All you have to do is click this line right here. I'll set that line two inches. Change it to two. And then you hit you hit enter and it's going to offset it for you. And that gives you the front edge of this. We know that thickness of that, the depth of that, is one and three quarters. We know it's 1.75. We know it's 1.75 to B, and then A adds another inch to it, the top of it. And we just block it in. We go to the top view, everything comes off your front view. Everything just basically gets blocked in here. And then we can go up here. And I got to finish up that side of that shop, that top right there. And so my construction lines are sort of hiding my front view. So what I need to do in here, come in here, draw that. Draw that line all the way across. Come in here with my, change it to a diameter circle. Type in one. Change that to my radius circle. One. Get my line tool again. Come right here. Draw that line across. Come over here, draw this line here. Draw the bottom line for my optic lines. Now you sort of notice how this line here is a little bit raised here. I need to fix that one before I move on. Because if not, if you were to turn that in, it would, I would take your points off of that. I just happened to see that when I was looking at it. I possibly could have hit it when I grabbed a hold of it earlier. Now, there's one area here that I need to fix based on the drawing itself. That line, according to this drawing, is not there. So we can just fix that by deleting that line. And then we got to add our, our hidden lines. Here and here and here, all right? They, they would show the circle going through there and the circle going through here on the, on the right side. And then we have our, our center line. Our center line going through here and our center line, we should have one right here, but we don't. So we need to add that center line. I need to offset that to make it easier for myself. 0.25 out this way. 
and point two five out this way. The reason I do that is when I go up here and grab my line tool, I now have something to grab hold to. It's not wanting to fight me. And now I can turn off my construction line later. Now there is something called the the rule of lines. Your object line will take precedence over your hit over your center line, but that center line can actually show up there. You may not want to be covering up that solid line there. We've actually dragged that up in here. I actually have two of them there. And that hole goes all the way through, but that line, because your, your, your solid line takes precedence over the center line, we need to show the, the solid line. Then our dimensions basically are just this. And four and three quarters, two and three quarters. You got an inch diameter, radius, inch radius, one and a quarter, one and three quarters, half inch thick, half inch thick, two and three quarters. And one and three quarters wide. Uh, any questions? I'll be standing around helping you guys today. Otherwise, 